So it's been a minute and I've been busy doing life things. But anyway, let's make a video. I was thinking about a topic because I'm currently away from my home, which means I'm limited to what I can research and sort of explore on the internet. But one of the things that came to mind was the Trudos Ophiolite complex in Cyprus. What is an Ophiolite? Well, it's a place on Earth's surface where the ocean floor has obducted, which means it's risen and basically pushed itself on top of the land. So what does this mean? Well, it physically means that when two plates collided, some of the oceanic crust, rather than being subducted in a traditional sense, such as, you know, around the Pacific Ring of Fire, where we have, let's say, the Pacific Ocean or the Pacific Oceanic Plate going beneath Japan. Um, in this case, some of the plate often closed when two plates collided and some of that oceanic plate bulged on top. Now, one of the really cool things about Ophiolites is geologists can go to them and essentially study not only the oceanic crust, but in some occasions, the upper mantle that sits beneath them. And that's what makes the Trudos Ophiolite complex in Cyprus so special, because it's one of the only fully complete Ophiolites in the world. If you've ever seen these hydrothermal vents, you will know them for being at the bottom of the ocean. Well, guess what? We can see these fossilized hydrothermal vents in person from about 90-ish million years ago when the Tethys Sea closed creating this Ophiolite. All of the theory that you learn at university around the plates and how they form different layers, you can see it there. I actually visited the Trudos Ophiolite complex once upon a time as part of a university field trip. Absolutely phenomenal. So if you ever get the chance to go to Cyprus and visit the Trudos Mountains, go with a geologist or at least try and get a guide or a geo guide when you go there. It is a UNESCO heritage site, which means there will be plenty of field trips to explain all this to you. But yeah, it's amazing. And if you manage to get to the top, you might see some Harsbergite or Peridotite. Um, this is essentially a minerally, well, it's not minerally, it's essentially olivine rich rock because olivine is very predominant in the mantle. It's this green emeraldy color. It's absolutely phenomenal. But yes, sorry, I'm ranting. It's been a while, but if you enjoy my videos, do like, comment, share, follow, and I will be back very soon.